वेलकम टू आवर चैनल व्यूअर्स टूडेज वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इज वॉट मेडिकल फीडिंग जिनोस्टमी दस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इज फॉर द बिगनर्स एंड वी फील दैट इवन द ट्रेनी हु इज डूइंग इज फर्स्ट फीडिंग जिनोस्टमी विल फील कॉन्फिडेंट आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ब्रीफली इंट्रोडक्शन द फीडिंग जिनोस्टमी इज सर्जिकली इंसर्टेड ट्यूब इन द प्रोजिबल जिजनम द फर्स्ट एफ जे वॉज डन बाई बोशन एटीन फिफ्टी एट इन अ पेशन ऑफ इनऑपरेबल गैस्टिक कैंसर Birgel in 1891 developed the most commonly used technique for genostomy creation which is followed world worldwide at present time and that we will discuss in this video tutorial briefly the indication uh, when the oral route cannot be accessed for the nutrition nasoenteral access is impossible time duration of artificial nutrition is more than 6 weeks or it can be additional procedure after major gi surgery The most common common type of surgical enteral access is gastrostomy. Abscess is indicated when the GI tract is functioning, but there is a obstruction in the proximal part of the gut, precluding placement of the gastrostomy tube, like gastric aortic obstruction in the present. Case, it can be part of the other major surgery like esophagus, stomach, pancreas, and duodenum. The index case is 62 year old male a case of duodenal adenocarcinoma with poor performance status of ECOG3 and nutrition poor nutrition level BMI 14.5 kg per meter square patient was resectable but not operable uh, endoscopic placement of NJ failed patient was planned for neurogenic chemotherapy after optimization nutrition followed by assessment for surgery in this case we did tube gastrostomy with feeding genostomy We will demonstrate details about tube gastrostomy indication in some another video. Otherwise, this video will be some lengthy. The details of, about feeding gastrostomy has been discussed step by step. All the technicalities explained. All the major complications also explained in detail. The abdomen was explored through supraumbilical midline incision. There was a five into five centimeter growth in the second part of duodenum, which was not fixed. There were no deposits. As I said, patient was resectable but was not operable in view of the poor nutrition status. So after exploration, we excluded the any peritoneal deposits or mats in the omentum, 